I think, I think the moment has come. I, I think I have no choice left but to look at a walkthrough. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. Before we get into today's video, we have some housekeeping matters, you guys. Besties, listen. We gotta talk about spoilers. I don't wanna have to touch on this every video, but we've been getting a little rowdy in the comments, okay? And we gotta have a quick chat. What makes these playthroughs so fun for me and fun for you guys to watch is that it's completely spoiler free. This is my first time experiencing anything you guys are seeing me experience. And I have no prior knowledge of anything going in. But there's been a couple of you guys who have been getting a little over eager in the comments and I'm not gonna name names, but you guys know who you are. And I don't wanna have to block anybody or mute anybody or do anything like that. So let's just talk really quickly about what I consider to be a spoiler so that going forward, we're all on the same page. Something I do not consider to be a spoiler. When you guys comment, ooh, Michaela, things are about to get hard. You're about to wanna start saving, girl. I know you don't save the game, but you're gonna start wanting to save soon. That's very vague, very general. And I have literally no way of knowing why you guys are saying that or what you're talking about. I'm cool with that. That to me is just saying, ooh, the game's about to get a little spicy. Like, let me mentally prepare myself. Something that is a spoiler is the fact that I am aware going into today's episode that there's going to be some new mechanic element, something unlocked during Mo's testimony that has something to do with the pressing, okay? I don't know exactly what it is because when I ever see a tiny little hint of a spoiler, I immediately stop reading and remove the comment from my unread comment section. But I don't love that I know that. Like, I don't wanna know that. It makes it less fun for you guys when I know what's coming up. And in general, like a good rule of thumb, if it has not literally been said by one of the characters in the game, do not tell me. I don't know about it. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to know any of the characters that are coming up. I don't want to know their names. I don't want to know any of the future cases and what they're about. I don't want to know anything. Like I want to experience this for the first time with you guys truly. I mean, that's what makes it so enjoyable. So if you're ever unsure as to whether you're about to say something that is a potential spoiler, err on the side of caution and just please don't say it for the sake of me and everyone else. Like guys, in the last case, I literally predicted the twist of the case in one of the first couple episodes without knowing, without realizing it at all. And y'all had to watch that know that and not say anything the entire case. And none of y'all said anything. If y'all can hold that and not spoil that, we will be good to go from here on out. So I'm not gonna harp on it. I just wanted to get that out there for those of you who may be new to my channel. We are a completely spoiler-free playthrough and I intend to keep it that way. On to the second housekeeping matter, y'all. We got another fan art. A few days ago, I got an Instagram DM from someone named Anomash, Anomash, I'll put their Instagram handle on the screen. And they said that they love watching my videos on the Phoenix Wright games and decided to make this. So as you guys can see, this is a drawing of me saying period, okay? Periodity, if you will. And getting things like this will like, uh, I, I, I feel like it's truly forever just going to be like, such an amazing, overwhelming feeling of just like appreciation for y'all support. It's always so fun getting to share these moments with you guys as I grow my channel and grow my support system, y'all. So thank you so much to Anno. Their Instagram handle is A-N-O. M-A-S-H-4-5. So definitely go check them out on Instagram. I will leave the link to their Instagram in the description box down below. And just another thank you to every single one of you who supports my channel. Last but not least, there has been a new development in the, mm, not the format of the videos. Like this is probably a very overdramatic introduction. I'm gonna start putting the life bar on the screen. Several of you have commented, Michaela, 
I want to see the life bar. Girl, when you lose a life, I want to see that ish. I want to see the life bar. And my problem is where the life bar is located on the video game is where I go in the video game. Like I like being in the little corner at the top right. So there really wasn't a solution. I was like, sorry, y'all, that's where I go. That's where I want to be. And then one of you guys, Emerald Fluffy, decided to comment Michaela. Why don't you just add another layer when you're editing, crop it to just the life bar, and then you can put it wherever you want on the screen? Is that something I should have thought of? Yes, but listen, y'all, there are so many other things flowing around in my brain. Sometimes my brain just does not think of very simple things like that. And that's how I know y'all have my back. So shout out to Emerald. We're gonna try that this video and let me know what you guys think, I guess, of wherever it ends up getting placed. But all in all, it's going to hopefully appease those of you who have been asking to see the life bar during the trials. All right, I think that about wraps up housekeeping. If you guys missed the last video, where we left off is Triloquist saw somebody walk by him through the courtyard or through the plaza to the murder scene wearing a silk hat, a cloak, and white roses, Maximilian Galactica's signature style, if you will. But I am firm in my belief that it was not my client in that cloak, okay? I don't know who it was, but it was not Max. So from where we left off, that is the main purpose in today's trial is to see who actually walked past Trillo and potentially who killed Russell Berry. And as usual, there was a lot more that went on in the last video besides that. So definitely check that out before you watch this one if you have not already. The candle of the day is cuddled up by Yankee Candle. I feel like this one was fitting considering Valentine's Day passed when this video goes up. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day if you celebrate, okay? Valentine's Day to me is not just about romantic love. You can show love to anyone, your friends, your family. I want to show love to you guys. So you guys are all my Valentines. If you didn't have one this year, then consider yourself asked, okay? Will y'all be my Valentine? Okay, I'm guessing that was a yes. And without further ado, let's get into it. Cheers. Also, I gave like a little mini baby update of that legal situation I was talking about in my live in my Super Mario video that went up Friday. So if you guys are interested and you haven't seen my video, go watch it, okay? There's been some developments. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Episode three, Turnabout Big Top, part two, dash two, trial. Oh God, what are we about to get ourselves into? I'm a little terrified. But guys, I'm still, I'm not gonna save. Like, I know some of you guys wanna punch me hearing that, but like, I just can't do it, I can't do it. Okay, yeah, so this is the latter part of the trial that we began in the last video, so that is why it is almost noon. Hey, Max. Yes. Yes. Listen, I believe you. You don't have to convince me, and you don't have to convince Franklin, right, Franklin? Frankie's on your side, Max. Great question, Maya. See, Maya's asking the real questions. See, the issue with that, Max, is it's not that I doubt you were in the ringmaster's room, but considering what you told me y'all were talking about, I found proof to the contrary. That's the issue I'm having, because why did you lie about that? Okay, so Russell said be right back and then he went and got murdered. That's rough. That's really rough. <laughs> But Max would have known that. He would have seen that. You just remembered what? You just remembered what? Okay, the silk hat, cloak, and white dog. Okay. But wouldn't you have noticed like, guys, if you're having a conversation with your boss and all of a sudden they put your clothes on that you just took off and said, be right back, wouldn't y'all remember that? Wouldn't y'all remember that? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. 
No. I don't know. I don't know. Great question. Just a tad. Just a tad. Right. So where's the rest? Great question. Or the white roses. Did I say white doves earlier? The white things. I'm dead. You know, I would say magician versus president, not a common conundrum, but I respect it. I respect it. This is coming from a lawyer who also likes to play video games on YouTube. So I, I get the dichotomy. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Not fabulous. Oh, okay, guys, we're we're jumping right back in. I'm I'm honestly so nervous. I'm so I'm only nervous because like, what are we about? Like, what is this new press situation? And why are we starting it in the middle of a case? Okay, Francisca, I have a challenge for you. I dare you to make it. Let's say 10 dialogues in to this trial today without whipping anyone. Starting now. Starting now. Okay. One. Okay. Two. And also clarifying Mo is our eyewitness. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Four. Wow, guys, we might actually make it ten. Why does he look so sad? Six. Uh, that counts. Seven. Eight. We were so close, Francisco. We were so close. Oh my God. All right, you guys. I think her new record is eight. And you know what? <laughs> we'll just have to take that. <laughs> oh my God. Not autobiographical gibberish. <laughs> what is happening? Mo, what happened to you? So that makes you sad? I mean, okay, I, I guess I understand, but you're not the one on trial. Oh, right. So the answer to that is none. So I can see why you're a little upset with that. Yeah, judge, don't, we don't need to get into it. A grand hall of justice, judge. Have you seen how you run your courtroom? You run it very much like a comedy club. I'm, I'm just, just saying, I'm just saying, okay. Oh, it's probably not. It's probably not, Mo. Okay. That's a good joke. That's actually kind of, that's a little funny. I mean, if I was a child and I heard, you know, if I, or I heard a child say that, I'd be like, good, good job, you know, being able to read. That's, yeah, I'll give you that one, Mo. I'll give you that one. The silence was deafening. Okay, so yeah, it is giving like childhood recess vibes. You know what I mean? Hmm, okay. Wait, wait, no, no, because I know I'm not, no. Who just started singing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not seeing things. Franklin, where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? Who was that? I'm dead. Did you guys read that? But a couple of clowns that were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. That's incredible. I love it. They said, we're going to flash this on the screen really quickly so we don't get copyrighted and sued from the Fresh Prince. That's great. Oh, wow. We have a Winston, too. Hi, Winston. You know the drill. You got to say hi to the people. They can't see you down there. 
Say hello. Oh, when she says hello, hello. And Frankie left. All right. Pure chaos, guys. Pure chaos. Professional funny man. Around 1015. Okay. Before we really, really get into it, let's do a quick review of our evidence just so we're all on the same page. So this is our deceased victim, of course, hunched over that locked box that contained this, the pepper, pepper, okay, in a locked box. And this is the actual box that was in the photo as well. It's 20 pounds because it is lined with iron. The silk hat that was found at the scene. The confirmation that Max did in fact get a salary raise. The poster Maya stole showing the white roses, the cloak, and the silk hat. The broken bottle that Max banged over Ben's head. Ben the ventriloquist. A map of the circus, of course. And we still have not gotten to meet Acro, who is the owner of the monkey money, who stole this ring which y'all the freaking jewelers that I have that follow me came out of the woodworks in the comments. Okay. Y'all really read that this ring was made out of glass and were pissed. Okay. It was hilarious reading that. And then of course the autopsy report where it says at the time of death was 10 15 PM and the cause of the death was blunt force trauma to the head. And again, I told you guys, we have to remember from the last video that there was like a severed vertebrae or something in his neck too, right? Okay. <laughs> Judge is not having it. Judge is absolutely not having it. <laughs> yeah, poor Mo. Okay, here we go. Okay, I mean, as long as you know, I didn't say it, but as long as you know. What? So you're aware of this? So, so you're aware, so you know? Why are you still doing this? Wow, that's really, really sad. Like, really sad. Almost, though. No. Almost. Yeah. It's just not the place. Like, you have to read the room, though. You, you really have to read the room. That was your testimony? That didn't actually tell us anything. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> not the call for help. Yeah? Why do you think you're here exactly? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh god. Poor gummy gums. It's always gummy gums, bro. It's always gummy gums. Okay. Testimony part two. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. Two silhouettes. And again, you're assuming it was Max because you saw the cloak, but you didn't actually see Max. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's something. It's something. Oh, Francisca, you're embarrassing yourself again. Right. Right. Because we all know Moe's the most credible. For sure. Okay, there we go. At least the judge is aware. <laughs> sure. Okay. Don't worry, Maya. I've done this before, baby. We we know what we're doing. Okay. 
Okay. Never, Judge. Never. What does that mean? Can y'all please be more specific? First of all, I can't cause anything. If he decides to stray from the facts, that would be on his own accord. And Karma, you, you can't do anything to me. You have no authority. Okay. I'm gonna act... Oh, God. Oof. Okay, so we do have six out of ten life, which is not great. It's not great. But again, proceeding as if I was spoiler-free like normal, I'm pressing everything until I see otherwise because everything is important. IMO. You're not, Mo. <sighs> That's oh, God. Mo, Mo, please. No, Maya, what the heck? Okay. Maya, Jesus. Why were you so pooped, Mo? And please don't make a feces joke. Mo, please. Mo, Mo, Mo. Leave Taco Bell out of this, okay? No. Right. So I'm getting penalized for him being an idiot. And honestly, that taking away two life is very dramatic. Like one, I think would be more reasonable. That's a little dramatic for me. This is obviously important. Judge, BFFR, this is important. Please let him speak. Hello? Yes? Obviously I, oh my God, okay. Frankie, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be very serious now, okay? The game doesn't like me having fun anymore. So here's what I'm thinking. This is a very obvious thing that should be important, like him glancing out of the window. However, the game could say, but him glancing out of the window isn't important. It doesn't matter what, how he saw it. He could have been standing outside or looking through a door or whatever. And maybe instead I should wait to press on the statement that he saw Max. Annoying, but fine. I will let this one rest for now, Mo. Unfortunately, and against my better judgment, your honor. Hmm, I wonder if this is going to be forever or just for this witness. I don't know how I feel about this. See, again, this is very clearly important. Like, describe the silhouettes. How far? I mean, come on now. Okay, good. He seems like he's actually giving me information. I appreciate the honesty. Okay, this is obviously something we need to press. I'm sorry. Things didn't make sense until you spoke with the prosecutor? You mean you didn't realize what you saw until Von Karma told you what to say? 
Oh, now you're a hundred percent certain, Your Honor. I don't need any more information. This witness, his credibility and testimony is clearly tainted. Like, what more evidence do you need of that? That's actually wild. That's actually wild. <sighs> Mo, focus. Less insults, more facts. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's actually kind of funny and kind of sad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 You know what? That whip, I will actually allow. I will allow that. I will. Oh yeah, we still haven't found the murder weapon, have we? How do you know that, Mo? Right. Great. So you've given us no information. <laughs> Quad Karma, once again. We can go over the definition of harass later because it's actually what you do to literally everyone you come across. I am simply doing my job. Please let me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. This poor, poor clown that you are literally physically abusing with a whip. Like, please. Please. What? What? Sorry. Why are all four of my life pieces blinking? Wow, they're really not messing around this this episode. Why are we doing that? I've never lost four pieces of life at one time. Oh my lord. What is going on? I mean, other than him literally saying he didn't see the murder weapon. Hmm. The only thing I would think to present if it lets me is this, because this just says that it's blunt force trauma, which, but again, that doesn't mean there was an object involved. You can hit the ground and it be blunt force trauma, I believe. Oh, God. I mean, I can't say I don't. I can't say I don't. So I guess I do. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're allowed to say that, Phoenix, but I, I appreciate the honesty. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Listen, people, listen. What? I, I just feel like maybe we're all being a little dramatic. A little dramatic. I don't think that deserved that. That's absolutely insane. The Japan California justice system just got even worse. If you can, if you guys can believe that. <sighs> All right, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge. You're the one that wanted him to go by Maximilian Galactica, and now he's Billy Bob Johns? This is a joke. This is an actual comedy show. Ridiculous. Don't worry, Max. I'll get you out. 
All right, y'all. Listen, I'm still not saving. I'm still not saving. The game did just get a little bit more difficult though. So keeping that in mind, I will see you guys in a second. And we're back. Okay, so I just did every single thing that I did the first time except pressing the poop statement so that I did not lose two pieces of life. Interestingly enough, I had four pieces left on this statement last time and lo lost all four. I have six pieces now, but I'm about to lose five? The game is not gaming right now. The logic is not logicking, but you know what, you guys? You gotta roll with it. We gotta roll with it. So obviously I'm going to choose I don't this time and see what happens. Even though I don't agree. Are you? G thanks. What is going on? <laughs> Pro. Wow, if there was a video to start including the life bar on, it's freaking this one. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Bro, what is actually going on? Okay, so we have five pieces of life left. Which you'd think would be more than enough, but apparently not. So, there was one statement I did not try pressing. Okay, wait. So this one we pressed. This one we lost life on when we pressed. This one we pressed, but then left it alone. So I might need to press harder on this one. This one we pressed, this one we pressed, and this one we pressed. And I don't really remember a clear contradiction I have from those. So let's go back to this and hope I don't regret it. I guess so, Phoenix. I guess so. Mo, answer the question. Answer the question. Oh. Mm. There you go. How do you forget about that? <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay. You did, Mo. You. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys, we are making progress. We are making progress. Hopefully, Phoenix, geez. Okay. Before I press, we did that, we did that. Okay, so that's the only thing that changed, so we do need to press this. Judge is not playing around today, jeez. Okay. Okay, but that, that didn't, that didn't give us anything new. Oh God. Because we already pressed these things. And I doubt they're gonna have new info. Yeah, we already talked about this. Lord. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to present something on the statements we already have because we've now addressed every statement. It was snowing that night and it cut down on visibility. It could be that because uh, I don't like this argument, but like, I know Gumshoe had talked about how much snow it was and it was a good bit of snow, but as you guys can see from this photo, I don't know if it was enough snow to cut down on visibility. But I don't love the strength of that argument, honestly. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to keep that in mind as an option. The two silhouettes and they were a bit far away. Wait, they were a bit far away though. I mean, I guess I could also in theory present this on that statement. Ugh, I do not like this. Now I am 100% certain that it was Max in the Ringmaster that I saw last night. I mean, again, I could present a profile on that statement, but I don't have like a... Okay, idea. Could I present Ben on this statement? Because last video, Ben testified that when money stole the ring, he chased him. I don't remember what, where he chased them though. Uh, God. But that wouldn't be contradicting this because it wasn't Ben that was in the cloak, right? <laughs> oh my God. All right. Mm. All right, and then let me repress this as well. Even No, no, we don't need to press that again. Guys, those are the only two options I see right now. Oh, God. The, I don't have an issue with being wrong and losing life. I have an issue with losing literally my entire life at one time because that's just dumb. That's why I'm so hesitant right now. Let me just press this one more time and reread this. So yeah, I don't think putting the map on this statement is going to be a contradiction at all. Like, he literally just used the map. Okay, we're going to do the picture. We're going to do the picture. Oh, God. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh. Oh, God. I'm stressed. I'm not feeling confident. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, wait, before I do that. It was the ringmaster, he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Let's just, let's just freaking do it. We're gonna waste more time being indecisive than we would dying and getting back, so. Alright. This photo, guys. Oh, music didn't stop. That's never a good sign. That's never a good sign. Okay, two pieces, two pieces, two pieces. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. Okay. And then we have this statement, and the only other thing I can think of is to present Ben. Oh, God. 
I don't feel good about this either, but I don't know what else to do. All right, we're gonna have to get it out of the way. If we die, we die. If we die, we die. If we die, we die. All right. Oh my Lord Jesus. All right, guys, we got one piece of life left. One piece of life. All right. I'm just not sure. everything except the statement we know loses life okay I mean and again I don't think we should do this by any means but the only other thing we haven't done is this oh. okay guys listen listen we're locked in at this point. If y'all are watching this, knowing I'm not saving the game, we're, we're in this together. So don't be mad at me because I'm the only one being affected. Y'all get to see the video cut, okay? Y'all don't gotta witness me going back through this. So I need y'all support, okay? If we choose this statement and it's what we were supposed to do, great, we advance. If we choose this statement and we lose our last piece of life, fine because then we get to go through the rest of the video with six pieces of life instead of one. Okay, it seems like a win-win case to me. We're just gonna do it. Okay. Okay, all right. All right. Well, that just means we have the evidence we need and we have to find what statement to present it on. That's what that just proved. So that's all good. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, after going back through, I have a couple other ideas that I am once again, not even a little bit confident on, but at least we got something, baby. Okay. Idea number one. Max clonked the ring, max, ring master over the head. Why is there no blood? Is it the best theory? No, because there may not necessarily be blood. Maybe we just can't see the blood in the photo, whatever. But it's not the worst idea. We're going to go with it. We don't have a ton of options here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. All right. All right. Me neither, Judge. No problem. No problemo. No problemo. Okay. Next idea. Again, not a good one. Over the head. This is, this is really stupid, you guys, but this, this is, we're, we're working with what we have. Over the head. Over the head. Okay. Autopsy report, back of the head. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I... Oh. Okay. Last idea. <laughs> Last idea. I, for whatever reason, want to present the map on this statement. I went straight back to my room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, I just had to try it. We're trying stuff at this point. I'm gonna be very curious if this is gonna be like an obvious thing because it's not giving obvious to me right now. But we're gonna find out. Okay, you guys, I know the game tries to give you hints sometimes, 
And after pressing the previous statement about him looking out of the window, he said the loud noise was in like a different font color. And then Phoenix was like, yeah, this should help us. So now I'm like, okay, so is it this statement? Maybe it's this statement. I heard a huge noise outside the window and that's what made me take a look outside. So I'm wondering if there's anything we can present on that. I heard a huge noise outside the window and that's what made me take a look outside. But what would contradict that? Oh my god. Found inside the room box. Heard a huge noise. Huge, huge noise, guys. Huge noise. Ugh. That's what made me take a look outside. I heard a huge noise outside the window. Like, I feel like the game is really trying to lead me somewhere. But I don't know where we're going. I don't. I don't. Ugh. Could the huge noise have been the box being put on the ground? <laughs> Like, that's where we're at right now, you guys. Oh, there's just so many options. But listen, here's where we're at. Every time I die, I get three more opportunities to present things. And the more I die, the more things get eliminated as far as what I can present. press this one more time. <laughs> y'all, I I'm so beyond lost right now, like y'all do not understand. Like, <laughs> I could even present money because money ran past with the ring, right? That could have been the huge noise. Like at this point, we're just guessing. At this point, we're literally just guessing. All right, listen, let's just play a new game called Take a Shot Every Single Time I Die because that's, that's where we're at right now. All right, you guys, I don't know which round we're even on right now after having died several times, but we're about to just start hammering through these. I'm not looking at a walkthrough. I've thought about it. Don't get me wrong. I've thought about it. I'm not gonna do it. So we're just gonna start hammering these out back to back. Lock in, okay, lock in. Ugh, another reach, but who was wearing his cloak? What if I present the hat? Cause like, why didn't you say his cloak and his hat? I felt good about that one. Okay, you guys, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. And if it's this, I'm gonna be pissed. On this statement, when I pressed it, he said that he's certain because he talked to the prosecutor. Do I need to present Franziska on this statement to show that the only reason he knows this is because of her? Hold the freaking phone right now. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, you guys, we're gonna compromise. I'm not looking at a walkthrough, but what I am gonna do, because when you get to the end of Mo's dialogue, Maya says something about how we need to figure out what he's saying different now than what he said before. And before was during the first day of the investigation. 
I'm going to look through the transcript of the first day of the investigation, which is not a walkthrough and not cheating because I've technically already seen this dialogue. I just may be forgetting something. So we're going to see if this helps us. Okay, so Mo originally said the murder must have taken place around 10 p.m. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. So that's clearly contradictory, but what, what do I have to prove that? Here he says, before I go to sleep, I went and glanced out of the window. In the investigation day, he said, after I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. He also says that he jumped out of bed because he heard a giant thump. And that's when he saw the magician. That's all I saw. But now he's saying two silhouettes. All right, you guys, those were the two contradictions that I found. But again, I simply do not know how to contradict that. I, I just, I don't know. Y'all, I've been filming for two hours. I, I, are we gonna have to look at a walkthrough? What would be worse, me saving or me looking at a walkthrough? I feel like me looking at a walkthrough would be worse. At least if I save, then technically I won't have cheated. Okay, so I have officially presented every profile and every item, I think, on that statement, which means it must not be that statement. On to the next. Guess it's not that statement either. At this point, I don't even remember what it sounds like for the music to end when I get the correct answer. Not that statement. So, same shirt, different day. Yeah, I know, I know. Listen, I don't know how far we are into the video once this has been edited, but when I filmed everything y'all just saw, that took me over three hours. That was three hours of footage cut down to the point we're at now. I, uh, my, I had to bring it to a different day. I know you guys, Michaela, why don't you just save? First of all, I'm literally on the first contradiction, you guys. It wouldn't have saved me that much time to save. Michaela, why don't you just look at a walkthrough because Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this, but I'm like this. But I feel like we are so far in at this point. Like I am at the point now where I am trying every item and every profile on every statement. And we're just too far in. We're just too deep. We're too committed now. I can't save or look at a walkthrough now. If I was gonna do that, which I, I probably should have considered doing that. But if I was gonna do that, I should have done it 30 minutes in, not three freaking hours. So listen, this video is going up tomorrow. So this is all the time we have left, folks. I have to figure it out tonight. So, you know, we may, we may have to cheat, but I don't want to. I'm gonna give it another go. There's still some things that I haven't presented. And I, I just hope that when I figure out what the correct answer is, that it's worth it because I am losing my mind. So thank you for sticking with me throughout my journey of insanity. Let's get back into it, shall we?
We're running out of statements, y'all. I'm gonna keep it so real with y'all. I'm pretty sure the only statement I haven't tried everything on is this one. Which makes no sense because this statement by the game's definition is irrelevant. I'm gonna do it. And honestly, you guys, like, this, I just can't film this for 16 hours. We're gonna have to look at a walkthrough after this if, if, if this statement doesn't work. Y'all, that, that was the last thing. Have I truly presented every single thing on every single statement? Okay, listen, I am going to double check my footage from day one of filming this and make sure that I have in fact done every single statement. Just to be sure. I just checked the footage back. I'm pretty sure I have tried every single piece of evidence and every single profile on every single statement. The literal only thing that could be happening right now is there's some mechanism in the game where I needed to have pressed certain statements before trying something on a certain statement that triggers it to actually go through. I'm not dealing with that because that would be ridiculous and in my opinion, extremely unnecessary. So you guys, I think, I think the moment has come. I, I think I have no choice left but to look at a walkthrough. y'all hold on so it said to press him on the statement that i think i already did this one i think i already pressed this yeah then it says to go to the end and press and then say that of course i do which I've already done. But I guess I may not have done it after I pressed on the first statement. Again, I did this already. And if my theory is correct, that the game just needed certain things to be triggered for me to progress. When I did this the first time, I lost four pieces of life and died. Okay? Just as a gentle reminder. This seems like new dialogue.
I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I genuinely... The fact that it took me four hours of trying literally everything and that's, that's what it was. I don't even want to count that. I don't even want to count that as saying I looked at a walkthrough because that is so, so stupid. I get it, but like BFFR to the max, like. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna count that. Y'all can say I'm fake if you want to. I, no. I should not have had to look at a walkthrough to say, hey, you did the right thing. You just did it in the wrong order. Even though you've done all of that already. <sighs> this is going to be a lesson and a practice in letting things go. Because guess what, guys? We're still on the very first statement. So we have a lot of trial left to do and I cannot go through the rest of this trial pissed. So we're letting it go here. Comment down below y'all's thoughts on this whole situation. I am very curious, be honest, be honest. I'm thoroughly curious on y'all's opinions of this. Anywho, we continue. Oh my god. Fair. All right, we're back in it, y'all. We're back in it. Pretty much happened? Okay, I'm like, come on now. Okay. So you didn't see... <laughs> So you didn't see the crime and you lied under oath as Phoenix put it, which at this point, not a surprise, but your previous statement that you saw my client clonk the ringmaster over his head was a lie. You're a liar. <laughs> You guys, I just want everyone watching this to know that this statement alone in real life would be grounds for so much disciplinary action, including the case being dismissed. Like, oh my God. I, uh, let me guess. I can guess what's going to happen to Francisca. Can y'all take a stab at it? Nothing, that's right. And again, the judge ignoring the prosecution's involvement, beelining it straight back to the witness, period. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice way of saying dead. -ed. He dead. Permanent vacation is crazy. Okay. Where did you see him? Because if Russell was already bent over, dead on the ground, when you looked out of your window, where exactly was my client, Mo? Please clarify. You saw someone's silhouette. Here we freaking go. Here we freaking go. Okay, period, judge, also known as contempt of court where Franziska should be. I'm just in disbelief. I'm in disbelief right now. I'm sorry. I'm clearly still not over earlier. I'm just... Like, you you learn, right? Like, that we learn with the game. I've learned throughout playing this game that during investigations, for example... Sometimes you're stuck and you're like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? I, there's nothing I can do. And not realizing that you talking to somebody else 
triggered a speech from a different person, perhaps. But I didn't realize that that could occur in the trial how it did. <sighs> but you guys, like, again, I, I know I don't have to defend myself, but it's just ingrained in my perfectionist personality to not do what I had to just do. But when I tell you guys, and I'm sure you'll see it, that I tried every single option on every single statement, I was left with no choice. Okay. I was left with no choice. So that's the tea. Why, Mel? Why? Why is there no doubting it? Oh, because of the symbols again. Right. What about the roses? What about the roses? Aha. Uh -huh. The missing murder weapon. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Judge. Hopefully it goes a little quicker this time. <sighs> At least we still have our six pieces of life. <laughs> okay. And now I have to remember we can only press on certain things now. So I again have to be smart with this. Okay, the, the one thing I have a question about immediately is why the white roses aren't here because in the photo that we saw, which I know you guys have explained before is not an actual photo, but a depiction of his memory in his mind, I didn't see any white roses. Did y'all see any white roses? I didn't. Okay. Okay. So far so good, you guys. So far so good. But we didn't actually get any information. I don't, uh, I don't think that's going to be of help. Uh, let's do this one. So? Okay, what's the witness's eyesight? I would like to know the date of his last visual exam, actually. Somebody bring the, uh, the eye doctor up. I want to hear from the eye doctor. Have the eye doctor testify. Oh! Wow. Phoenix, great minds think alike. That's not good, and also not informative enough. Can you be, please be specific? Huh. Alright. I guess. <laughs> okay. So far, so good on that, too. This, I think, is safe to press on, because it pertains to the murder weapon. Right. Right. I disagree, but okay. 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 Okay, so we haven't pressed on the first statement or the second statement. This one feels like I might get a penalty for it. This one doesn't as much. Sure is, Mo. Sure is. And I think you know exactly what I'm getting at. 
Great question, Phoenix. Right. You're definitely not the type of person that would lie! As if you do play me! I'm gonna have a connection! Ugh, okay. Okay, well, this is the only statement we haven't pressed, it on, pressed on, and I have a good bit of life, so I feel okay risking that. Wow, what a great point. The shape of the face? The shape of the face? face okay well the good news is <laughs> the good news the silver lining is that we have successfully pressed every statement without penalty so now we can play the game as normal i don't like the shape of the face thing let's look at the faces we have available to us this looks like a normal face uh, pointy chin pointy chin but Francisca also has a pointy chin. What if it was Francisca in the cloak? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Russell clearly doesn't have a pointy chin. Gumshoe's chin is a little bit different. Maya's chin is a little bit different, but not by much. But that looks more pointy, even though it's a side-ish profile like this and this. Okay, so we could, hi Winston, we could present, oh, hi Franklin, Jesus. We could present Regina. Uh, no, that doesn't feel right. Uh, the shadow could have only belonged to Max. I saw his uppity symbols. All right, we're gonna let me let me re let me reevaluate now that I'm not worried about getting penalized. Franklin, not you making biscuits on my boob right now. Are you serious? This is not the time, sir. This is absolutely not the time. <sighs> this hurts, Frankie. It, it hurts. I'm just going to put that out there. I know you don't care about that, but it's a little painful for me. Ow. Ow. Okay, I don't think that's the statement. Okay, Frankie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. But absolutely not. Okay. This is still the, it's the face shape thing for me, but let's keep going. Okay, I don't think it's that one. This is the vision one. Yep. I don't think we have anything that says he doesn't have perfect vision. Can't really contradict that. And then we have this statement. Which is the murder weapon. Must have been something incredibly hard. Yeah. I think it's that second statement, you guys. I feel I feel rel I feel moderately com confident about that. That's what I'll say. Okay. So. Let's present Regina to start. No? Okay. I mean, I feel like we should not present Francisca, but like, she also has the, the face. Let me read this again. The shape of the face I saw. Yeah, I mean, that's literally all I have to go off of. Oh, shoot, I did not mean to do that. Okay. I mean, this seems like a waste, but like, I have to try it. Okay, what if I present Max's face? Okay. 
Okay. Well, that needed to happen. So I don't, I guess it's not giving face. All right. See y'all in a second. Okay, so we're back to this statement. I don't think it's going to be a person because again, like the, the, sh the face shape, like, ugh. I mean, Ben definitely does not have the same face shape <laughs> and neither does Russell and neither does he. So back to our evidence. Okay, wait, what if, what if instead of that on this statement, we present the poster because the poster has the white roses in it. Let's try that. I think that's a good idea. Ah, uh, thank God. Okay. We're back in here, guys. <sighs> Can't forget about the white roses, Mo. <laughs> here we go. Wow. Mo's gonna be pissed that they did it for Maya. That's actually so funny. Hey, Judge. Hey, hey, Judge, are you are you awake back there? Are you? Hey, Judge. Hey, Judge. <laughs> judge? Oh! Welcome back, Judge. Welcome back. <laughs> Francisca, please remove yourself from life. Like, actually. Like, you are honestly a disgrace. You're, I, I have no patience left for you tonight. I really don't. Correct. You saw a black... The roses fell off? All of them? Right? Um, the facts of this case, not necessarily, but they're material to my client's identity. Ooh, not the inside Phoenix scoop. Period. 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 There you go. There you have it, Judge. There you have it. Oh my God. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Franziska Von Karma. Quote of the decade. Absolutely it does. Absolutely it does. Okay, good. Wow. Who has the jokes now, Judge? Mo, Mo, sweetheart, this this isn't news, babe. This this is not news. <laughs> 99. Wow. Wow. Thanks for that 1%, Judge. Thank you for that 1%. <laughs> Okay. That's fine. Okay. Fine. We'll do it. Okay, babe. Maya, I got it. Queen, I got this. Okay. Silhouette part two. Okay. Oh, please describe the decorations, Mo. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene, yet it was found on the scene. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've had a little bit more than a shred, Your Honor, but all right. <laughs> Wait, when you say a single shot, do you mean literally a single shot? Like, how many 
many life bar pieces do I have left? I have six pieces of life. Are they all going to disappear if I get this wrong? Oh Lord, okay. Let's be careful about what we press. Okay. I wanna press this one. This is the most obvious to me. I mean, this isn't necessarily wrong. He could have been wearing it the entire time he was on the scene and then left it at the scene, but still. Wait, does that mean I can't press anything? Oh my god. Oh. Excuse me? Okay. We're just gonna move past that. We're... Okay. Um, so we have one piece of life left. And I'm taking what just happened as a sign that I'm not allowed to press at all. Which means we have what we have. There were no white roses that night. Can't contradict that. Except for maybe the poster. But again, we just used that. I doubt it. All of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Especially the silk hat. There is no way I can forget seeing the decorations on it. What decorations? The feather? Gee, if only I could press to see what decorations he's talking about. Okay, I mean, the only thing I have is this statement in the silk hat. I mean, I have one piece of life left and I can't press anything. What else am I supposed to do? Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna I'm I'm take the I'm gonna take the dub, but I already said earlier how, in my opinion, that those can both be true. But I'm gonna take it. Okay, we have been through enough in this video. I'm gonna take it. Wow, the judge is really not happy with Mo's age. <laughs> no, like honestly, judge, why are you being so mean? To I'm sorry. No matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you is, is a flex. Like that statement. Yeah. You got him there. You got him there, Mo. Then again, how old is Mo? Cause we don't know how old the judge is. So I, I guess guys, I guess the judge is at least 47. <laughs> oh my God. What is going on? Oh, well, okay, that's the contradiction then. Mo, you're, you're playing yourself, babe. You're playing yourself. How he left the scene and there's no footprints? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Answer the question, Mo. You heard what I said. 
No, I'm not, Franziska. You're badgering the witness. And so is the judge. Not Gur. Yeah, let's hear what the witness has to say, because I know exactly what to contradict him with this time. <laughs> Little guy? What is happening? <sighs> okay, period. That's all I needed to hear, Mo. That is all I needed to hear. <laughs> All right, you guys, <laughs> this is for all the marbles. This is for all of the marbles. Gorgeous. Period. Uh, not I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, Mo. Did he fly? Yes, Phoenix. Yes, Phoenix. <laughs> wow, the judge is off one, Mo. Mo. Yes, we actually can. Franklin, are you hearing this? Same. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't say, Maya. You don't say. bro seriously <laughs> which is what oh my god This is ridiculous. The truth. What is going on? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Bro, friends, it's got. Oh my god. <sighs> Judge, I don't even know how to contradict that. Like, I, I don't even know how to... He can have it. Like, he can have it. Oh, okay, well, Francisca doesn't even believe him. So... I mean, more like a nightmare, but uh, this feels like a weird statement to say. But let's go with it.
Depends on if that hurt, Francisca. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Judge. Right. Same. <laughs> if you don't need proof that the crime actually happened, then the prosecution's case is sound? Guys, I don't even know what to say anymore. You don't say. Wow. Okay. Getting a little post court action this time. Hi, Max. Boy, do I wish I could answer that question. <laughs> they don't say that. Mo says that. <laughs> right. I see. Oh my god. Max, everybody knows that. Nobody thinks you're actually flying. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Here is what I will say. Had I not gone through the several hour long trek that I did with that first statement, this video would have probably been 45 minutes long, if that. So, you know, at the very least, I hope it was entertaining for y'all to see that I am a real person who sometimes has no forking idea what's going on, just like you may not have any forking clue of what's going on, and that's okay. This game threw me for a loop. This new press twist threw me off in a completely different way than I think the game intended for it to. Like, it's not like I was dying all the time because I kept pressing everything. I died because I didn't press in the right order. Oh, that one's gonna pain me for a long time, but I'm gonna leave it in this video and, and try not to think about it ever again. But you know, one thing I still can say is that I've never saved. And, and you know what? Now, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to hold on to that even tighter than I already do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you made it all the way to the end. I'm really curious to hear y'all's thoughts on this episode and this day of the trial. And more importantly, I am very excited to get into the next day of investigating so we can hopefully get some more information on what's going on because once again, per usual, we're not really that much closer to finding out. But until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye and go thrive.